because I know that I need to wear at least three layers of jeans and a pair of sweatpants to not feel the belt on my butt. beautiful people it's your girl Janaya Aaliyah and I am back with another video <laughs> that was extra but if it's your first time here hi welcome I would offer you a seat but y'all already know only my subscribers can sit down so if you want to get you a seat then go ahead and click smack smash on that subscribe button so we can get into this video hurry up I'll wait on you come on we got stuff to get into Okay, great. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Janaya, and I'm a reckless driver. Um, I just want to start today off by addressing all of the curbs. Um, because personally, I feel like they shine a negative light on me and who I am as a licensed driver. Because when I'm driving, don't just jump out into the road. Don't hit me while I'm driving. And I'm sick of people always being like, oh my God, you didn't see that curb? Did the curb see me? Did the curb see me? So why didn't it move? If it saw me coming, why didn't it get out the way? Because now you just stood there and you're making me look bad in front of all my passengers because now they just think I'm just out here hitting curbs. But they don't ever ask like, Maybe the curb hit Janiyah. Nobody ever asked. Anyways, so um, y'all, uh, a few months ago, I almost lost my license, but I beat the case. I beat the case. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all the background information. Y'all already know. So, you know, I got my license at 16. I did everything that needed to be done. Um, I started the whole driver's ed thing online because my sister told me that when she did driver's ed online, she just left the computer screen up and went to go watch Netflix. Y'all, for the first few days, I tried that. I did. And literally after like three minutes, I would go check back on the screen and something would pop up and be like, are you still there? Uh, inactivity, something, something, something. And I'm like, well, dang, obviously that don't work. So then one day I was at school and my teachers, they would try to give out little tickets or whatever, like for being a good student. And so you already know I had the money. Okay. And so we could redeem them little tickets for like cool little prizes. And <clears throat> nobody ever like paid those tickets any mind but me. So like sometimes I would um, ask other students, hey, you know. Can I, can I have your tickets? And so I would get their tickets because they didn't know what was in that Tiger Token store, boy. So one day I go to the little store and usually they just be like having small stuff like Chick-fil-A sandwich coupons. Um, I don't know. I don't know. A hat. But the day I went in there and it was only open on Fridays. So the day I went in there, I actually saw they had... Oh, like a, I think it was like a free driver's ed certificate. And so that's how I got the whole online thing, but that didn't work out. So fast forward, I can't remember how I found out about this. Oh, get out of here. I can't remember how I found out about this, but I found like a grant for driver's ed online. And so basically you just apply, put in your financial information. If you're broke, you're going to get approved. I got approved. <laughs> And so I started the driver's ed. And so the driver's ed I did was actually at like this local driving school. And it was so exhausting. Like we was in here. I think we was in here for. Uh, hmm. It was a very long time. We was in there basically like a whole school day, like seven hours. And I think it was for like three or four days. And when I tell you we was sitting there and this lady is just reading straight from the book. Except for this one time, she actually showed us these disgusting car accident photos and like, um, I'm traumatized. But yeah, so I completed that. And so at the end, once you finish like the whole class section of the driver's ed, you're supposed to, um, 
enroll yourself into the actual driving courses and so somebody like if you have your car i think they'll like come to your house and y'all can drive your car but they also have like a car that belongs to the actual driving school and so she pulls up to my house with the little car i'm ready to drive like i'm like ooh, because <laughs> i already knew how to drive illegally so i'm already ready so i walk outside with my nike slides i'm like okay i'm ready to go this lady look at me. She say, you not driving in those. And so I'm looking like, in what? She's like, in those slides. You need to go back in that house and put you on some closed toe tennis shoes. So I'm like, okay. So I go to the house. I wrap me some tennis shoes. So we get back in the car. We're driving. We're driving. And like I said, I can drive. So, you know, we were driving around. And basically, she saw I was already pretty you know i was a pretty good driver so she was like okay well i mean you heard you're pretty good driver so i guess like we can just go to the next step and we can uh get on the expressway so immediately my heart jumped out my chest because i'm like ooh, expressway <laughs> because me when i was driving y'all i would take the roadways everywhere like i don't care if it's an extra 30 minutes i'm gonna take it because i didn't want to get on that expressway so basically I'm nervous. My armpits is sweating. I got armpit sweat dripping down my side because we driving towards the expressway. And so, of course, my the scariest part for me with expressway is just like merging, getting onto that exit. And I'm just like, so I finally get on the expressway and I'm driving. And so at this point, I'm just like this because like I don't want to get too close and get too close to a truck because when i get by them it always feel like they finna just swallow me up like yeah but anyway so i'm driving i'm driving and she was like do you wear glasses and i'm like no i do though <laughs> she's like do you wear glasses i'm like no because i didn't have them and she was like what about contacts and i'm like no but you know i used to wear glasses she was like when i was like first grade and she was like oh okay well uh, i'm gonna have to talk to your daddy because you might need to go get some more because i just noticed when you drive and you kind of venture a little to the left or you venture a little to the right but you can't ever stay in the middle so i'm like oh okay so we did that for a few days and that was that and so basically like, when we finished she was basically telling me like yeah you're one of like the best driver like teenage drivers that you know i ever worked with you know i barely had to do anything but good luck on getting your license and that was that so i go get my license or whatever and when i went to go get my license i was so nervous i was driving like 20 miles per hour the whole time the guy had to tell me like you know you can speed up right and so i was driving and I was doing pretty good. I was doing pretty good until it was like, it was finished. Well, first when we started, I ran a stop sign, but I didn't run it running. It was like a rolling stop. Nobody was coming, but yeah. So we get ready, we done. We finally done. And he was like, okay, well, uh, just go ahead and pull into a parking spot and you're done. So at this point, I see my mama on the curb. I'm all excited. So I pull into a parking spot, put the car in park. I'm like, okay, where my paperwork? And he like, um, you should probably pick one. And I'm like, pick what? He's like, a parking spot. Y'all, I get out the car. Why am I literally parked in two parking spots at once? <sighs> but anyways, I just had to repark and then I got like a, what did I get? I think I got like an 85 on the test. Um, I passed though, I passed. And yeah, so that's how I acquired my driver's license guys, you know. I'm official but so anyways fast forward me and my sister went to a football game and so on this day usually I stay really close to my school when I was with my mom because we stay right next door to the school but this weekend me and my sister had to go with my dad and he stayed about 15 minutes away from the school so sometimes like we would have to leave events earlier to try to get home at a decent time or something like that but this game, it was just so interesting. And so the game ends, right? The game ends, you know, we saying bye to everybody. Then a fight breaks out. A fight breaks out at the game. So now, cause like my school, we wasn't ghetto or anything, but 
they would fight and literally the entire city would just go crazy because everybody else thought it was ghetto like everybody but the people at the school well i mean i don't know child but they wanted to be ghetto but we wasn't ghetto but literally every police in the city would come to our school if they get a call like hey they're fighting bruh they all come to the school so at this point it was so many like cop cars i think even a fire truck came like where are y'all gonna do nothing is burning and so at that point i'm just like oh my god how are we gonna get out the parking lot so the game in and i go um we go get in the car so at this point we're sitting in the car we must have sitting in the car and usually like how i would do it because you know i could drive but it was iffy still how I would do it was I would kind of wait until everybody kind of got out and then I would leave last so you know I ain't hit nobody pulling out or anything you know or they ain't hit me and so I would wait and so at this point we just sitting here like waiting for I guess most of the cops to leave or people to move so I can see a little better something so we waiting and that's when you know my friend come up she starts talking to me and she's like girl where you going I'm like home and she like girl like let's go to walmart and i'm like what are we going to walmart for and she like let's just go to walmart just go to walmart so i'm like okay so we go to walmart and y'all we get in walmart and like you know how you and your friends go to walmart and y'all just like i don't know play with the basketballs or something just play with the toys in walmart like all the little balls that be out the bikes like just stuff like that so we in walmart at this point playing around and i think after a certain amount of time i was just like all right uh let's go so we getting ready to leave and my friend come up to me again she like girl because it was like some of her friends were there too so she's like girl i'm gonna change their name girl clarence just said he can't take me home but he was supposed to take me home and now he's talking about he can't because he going the opposite way and blah 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 and i'm just like dang so what you gonna do she like i don't know because he been like the only reason i came is because he said he was my ride and blah 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 and, blah, blah, blah. and so i'm like um okay i guess i'll take you home so my y'all her house was literally the opposite way so i was like but I don't know. I'm going to just start having to leave people stranded because as I can see, every time I just don't leave somebody stranded, I just mess myself up. But anyway, so at that point, you know, we was having a good night. I was completely lost in the sauce. I was at that point submerged in the marinara sauce. I could not even see the sky. Okay, so I take her home and now we start driving back towards my dad's house. So we driving back and at that point, mind y'all, we already running late because I didn't spend however long in the parking lot trying to let all the cops leave. Then we took a detour and went to go play with some toys in Walmart. Then uh, my friend acting like she was going to be stranded so I didn't gave her a ride home. And so at this point, I'm just like, okay, trying to get there as quick as possible. It was to the point where I didn't even realize how fast I was going, y'all. Like, I literally, and this is why to this day, either I'm on the phone, I drive talking on the phone, or I drive in silence because that rap music, that Jasmine Sullivan, that R&B, that get my heart rate going. It does. That's why I drive in silence now because I'm a newly found, I'm a new, I'm a new person. I'm a new person. I'm not that person anymore. But anyways, so I turn on, you know, I'm thinking, okay, as long as it ain't like no rap music, no little baby, I can turn on. So I turn on some Jasmine Sullivan. And all I heard before it all went south was, if I could, could forget him, I would. I think I just started feeling that, y'all. I just don't know. Like, why did Jasmine have to be in love with another man? I don't know. But next thing you know, we going, we going. Then we, 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 y'all, I done got pulled over. And let me tell y'all, this how I know I was lost in the sauce. Because I was just feeling good. I had three green lights in a row. Then somebody else, I'm just like, oh, wait, wait, drive so slow. So I get over. Then I, uh, I get over. And then I drive past them. Then get back over. Then next thing you know, he go, he go to police truck coming down the hill out of nowhere where did you come from 
I didn't even see the trunk because I thought it was a law that if a cop car pull you over, you gotta at least be able to see them. I thought they, I don't know. I'm not gonna make no excuse for myself because I broke the law. I'm a criminal. So I get pulled over and yeah. So at that point, I'm sitting in the car. My sister sitting here looking at me like, and I'm looking like, because I like to say, I'm like, who am I gonna call? Because I'm like, dang, if I call my dad, I guess that would make sense and I'm on the way to his house, but I don't wanna get a whooping today. I had a good day, I had a good day. I don't wanna get a whooping, but I'm gonna have to tell him eventually. I'm on his insurance. Well, maybe I'm gonna call my mama. She can tell me what to do. I'll call my mama. She had a she had a bar watching the basketball game. She's like, hey! I'm like, hey, mommy. Uh, she like, what you need? I'm like, hey, I got pulled over. She's like, oh my god, you got pulled over. Call your daddy. And I'm like, okay, all right. She's like, call him, call him, child, call him. Hangs up. And so at this point, I'm just trying to bring myself up to it okay and my sister over here on the phone my other sister and they laughing at me they think I'm a joke they're laughing so the cop comes to the window knocks on the window I roll the window down and you know I'm a black woman so I already got my got my hands on the dashboard we sitting here like this cuz you finna get me and so that's when he's like um License and registration, please. So I get my license and registration. I guess he go register it. I don't know. And he come back. He like, um, he like, how long have you been driving? I'm like, um, about a year. He's like, exactly. Not long enough. Do you know how fast you were going? You could have died. And he honestly, you have your seat up so far. Uh, the airbag could have killed you. Blah, blah, blah. And so I'm looking like, okay, so this man is yelling at me. And I'm finna get a whooping when I get home. So now it's just like, do I even go home? Can I just run away and go live at McDonald's? Do I just need to run away and go live at Waffle House? I only got 30 cents on my bank account, but if I just, if I get a donation and order like a large drink, and then every time they try to kick me out, I can order a refill. So they can't be like, oh, you're not a customer because technically if I order a refill and pay for that refill, which is like 10 cents, then I'm a customer. And so that way, you know, I can sleep. And then every time they try to come wake me up, I'm going to just take a sip of the drink. So like they think I was a customer and they won't kick me out and now I can just live at McDonald's. Um, yeah, sounds like a good plan. And so this man is going off of me. And at this point, I'm just, I'm, it was just too much because I'm just like, sir. I'm finna already get the black smacked off of my butt when I get home. And I probably don't, you ain't gotta worry about seeing me on the roads again, ever again. So why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling? Why? And so of course, um, he gave me my ticket, my little citation. And I look at it, I'm trying to see how much it is. Y'all, they said I had to appear in court. We all know what happens in court. People go to jail! Sorry, sorry. And so that's when next thing you know, because at this point, like I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna call him, let him know. Next thing you know, my dad start calling me. And so I'm like, uh. you know, when somebody call you and you just have to take a deep breath before you answer the phone. So at this point, I'm like, hello. And so he like, Hello? Did you get pulled over? Why you didn't? Why you ain't calling? Why are you already on? Like he's so he's just going off, and whole time I'm sitting here trying to figure out how he found out, and I didn't even get to call you yet. And apparently, my mama, I told her I was gonna call him, but for some reason, she decided to call both of my aunties and let them know before I could even break the news to him. And so now they across the state calling him like, where you at? 
your daughter they got pulled over blah 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 and so now he calling cussing me out trying to find out why they know before he know and i'm just like nobody was supposed to know i was gonna tell you maybe eventually and so at that point i'm just like oh my gosh and i'm saying oh my gosh because i'm really just trying to think about what clothing items i have in my trunk because i know that i need to wear at least three layers of jeans and a pair of sweatpants to not feel the belt on my butt but then i also need to put on like a another jacket just in case the belt kind of slip and hit my back and so at that point i'm just like oh i don't know what we gonna do so we driving home y'all i'm shaking like literally my body i'm just shaking on the inside because i'm just i'm basically i'm just trying to prepare myself for this butt whooping i'm about to get when i get home because i'm like oh it's been a long time it's been a long time mm. jesus and so i'm driving we finally pull up in the driveway and my sister got the car and at that point i'm envious because you know I don't I, I I just wish I was on the other side, you know, when your sibling get a whooping and you just feel like the golden child because you didn't do nothing. And so I'm just sitting here like So we get out the car, we walk in the house, and immediately we walk in the house, I'm walking in like this. Because I'm scared, like y'all I'm scared, like he finna be waiting at the door, uh behind the corner in the kitchen to catch me when i walk in like i'm just I'm, I'm scared okay and so i walk in he's just sitting on the couch i don't see no belt and so i'm just like but listen honestly i'm not even gonna lie in this instance i kind of would have preferred the belt because my dad is just that have a parent that will talk you and lecture you to death to the point where i prefer i i, I take the whooping because y'all i just i don't even want to recall the cuss out i got because it was very traumatizing but more of the story i lived i lived okay and so basically i can't remember i think uh i couldn't um I think I couldn't drive like for a minute after that but of course after like that weekend or whatever I was able to drive home but I don't think I could go to like any games or anything um but yeah so drove home and so it was just you know school then home then whatever and so of course you know basically what my dad was saying he was just like because I had already did the research like yeah I'm gonna get this license suspended because for those of y'all who want to know I was going um 80 and 50. Um yeah, I was driving 80 and 50. Um but yeah, which means that was a super speeder and that added 4 points onto my license and you're not allowed to exceed I think 3 points if you have a license and you're under 21. Something like that. And so basically I was letting him know, yeah, license probably finna get suspended. He was just like, good. Okay, great. And so basically, he just made it clear, like, okay, nobody cares what happens to your license. Bye. And so I go home to my mom. And of course, I'm just looking at her like, why did you have to do it? Why did you have to call them? I was gonna call him like, oh, you just wanted to do something. <laughs> and so basically... Um, the court date that they assigned to me was actually the day before my birthday. And so, building up to that, I was just basically trying to be the safest driver I can, y'all. Um, driving the speed limit everywhere. I actually probably drove 15 under the speed limit. Um, and yeah. And so, now we get to the point where my court case is here. And so, it was the day before my birthday. And we get in the courthouse um in the court my court date said it was supposed to be like at 8 a.m right we get there at 8 a.m first of all it was i'm like oh y'all some criminal criminals over here because it was so many other kids in that courthouse because i was in juvenile i was in juvenile court so we get in there and um we're waiting we're waiting they didn't even open up the courthouse doors to like 8 39 
so we was there for a good minute because we showed up very early and so we get there and there was like a main lobby and then there were like two extra waiting rooms that you could wait in until your name was called to see the judge and so me my sister and my mom we go wait in this waiting room and so we're in the waiting room we're talking you know i guess they just joking because whole time i'm just sitting here i'm scared i'm scared i'm never gonna drive again i don't got nobody in this house that's want to give me some rides so whole time they sitting here talking cracking jokes i'm sitting here like And yeah, because I'm I'm just scared. I'm scared. Okay, I'm scared. I admit it. I'm scared. <sighs> and so we sitting there, y'all. And when I tell y'all, I found out some. I had no clue that I did. And let me tell y'all, this is gonna get real personal. So I'm gonna have to whisper it. Okay. When I get nervous, I get. It's true. It's true. Because we were sitting there and I was like, um. <laughs> like, it was just, it was just happening. And I'm like, what is going on? What did I eat? Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. And so I go to the bathroom. Nothing happened. But anyway, so off of that, but yes, so I'm sitting here the whole time at this point, the whole waiting room, it just stank, okay? Because I was just nervously, and then on top of that, I'm sweating, like I'm just sweating, like oh, it was just a gassy, sweaty mess, guys, gassy, sweaty mess. So some lady comes out basically because it had already hit like two o'clock at that point, mind you, I got there at eight, um, and it's two o'clock, they still ain't call my name. And so as they was calling names, like we couldn't sit in on other people's cases, but I put my ear to the wall and I was hearing most of them was like bullying, uh, fighting, staying out past curfew, stuff like that. And so basically this lady finally comes out and she calls our name. And so we get up and we ready to go in the courtroom. She's like, do you have a lawyer? And I was like, no, do we need one? Cause if we need one, we can get one. She's like, um, well it depends because I mean, if you don't want to get a lawyer, um, her offense, you know, uh, grants you know suspension for her license for approximately six months um so if y'all just want to go ahead and do that then we can do that today but i mean if you're trying to fight it and i guess you can just get a lawyer and we can um continue this court case on a later date and so i'm like okay yeah we gonna do that and so i'm looking like ain't lawyers expensive but okay okay at this point i'm nervous because i'm i'm just imagining the worst thing possible and i'm like okay well if the license gonna get suspended then let's just make it happen but then i guess that was kind of stupid because i'd rather it get suspended on a later date because then at least i have more time to drive my car so boom so she give us the little paperwork for a public defender so we go talk to them whatever and then fast forward we meet with the public defender and honestly um he had recommended that i do like some driving courses or whatever before my next court date to you know show them that i'm trying to redeem myself i'm trying to be better okay yes so i took this like a live at 25 driving course for people under 25 um and that one child they was just in there showing us all these crazy car accident clips guys it was so like okay i think i got it i'm not doing it anymore it was so sad and so um did that class then i did i think i did like another little driving defensive driving class did that class and so after that he basically just recommended you know i get like a letter of recommendation from someone or like reference letter from someone or a char character reference that's what it's called and so i get a character reference um and then show them my report cards and my attendance and stuff maybe not the attendance but more so the report cards yeah yeah and so did all that and so finally it's time for the new court case to come back up so um at that point after i had did all the stuff the lawyer said i should do we really hadn't heard from him but you know typically they have when they're supposed to like i think the courts had certain days that they had like that they held court i guess so the lawyers was supposed to know the days so we get to the court and this time it was just me and my sister. I think my mom was out of town or something. And so it's just me and my sister. We sit in there 
And we just waiting. My lawyer, like, we just waiting on him. He just, we like, where is he at? Like, where is he? So, he didn't show up. And so, we get back in the court. And that's when, um, like, they start talking. They look over my paperwork and stuff. And then, basically, the prosecutor is the person who recommends, like, the sentence and the judge just say yay or nay. And so, the prosecutor is like, okay. Well, actually, so the judge looks at myself. He's like, okay, well, you're a pretty good student, you know, and stuff. Um, prosecutor, what do you recommend? And she's all like, um, we recommend, you know, just the defensive driving course and you know come back pay your fine and so i guess you have to come back with your certificate next time um and then you know pay your fine and then that'll be it and so at that point i'm feeling good i'm like oh i can beat this case yes and so i go do another defensive driving course and that one was i think one day long that one was or it may have been two days but we was in there all day and that teacher was making fun of me because i was the youngest person in the classroom and i'm like okay well that should say something because i'm young we understand why i'm making mistakes but why are you t-boning people at a four-way stop why why exactly so yeah so i complete that course and take my papers back to court and i paid for my um pay my fine y'all and so this time when i get back to court lawyer students show up he sent in a substitute so he sends in this white lady to defend me in court and so basically the prosecutor asks her she's like okay so how many um points do you propose um we take off her license so mind y'all i only had four and i think the minimum or the maximum you could get with my kind of license was three so this lady gonna say we propose uh one point and i'm like why couldn't she go for two points they was willing to hear anything the judge was so nice and i'm sitting here like this lady really just asked him to take one point off my license they go low we go high they go low we go why did you only ask for one point off of my license why did you only ask for one point off of my why But they said yes. And so at this point, I'm sitting here like, oh, okay, I'll take it. Because at least I have my freedom. I have my freedom and I have my license. Okay, y'all? But at that point, I'm just looking like, okay, now I have to be really safe because basically I'm a wanted driver. All I got to do is, I don't know, one point and I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm out. Because the worst part about it was the driving class I took, the little instructor lady said that this class would be good enough to take up to seven points off of your license and you requested one one point they go low we go high but it was what it was so like i said i paid my fine um and i think my mom took my picture or whatever or i think my sister took my picture i don't know child but I beat the case, y'all. I did not get my license suspended, but that was just a nerve-wracking experience for me. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, and personally, I know I should just accept responsibility for what I did, but I think it's Jasmine Sullivan's fault for being in love with another man. I truly do. Because that song did not have to go that hard. But moral of the story is, y'all, driving is a privilege okay so if y'all out here driving you know what i'm saying drive safe be safe on the roads um do not be criminals drive the speed limit um and yeah but y'all already know thank y'all so much for tuning in to this story time if y'all want to see some more of my stories check out my story time playlist story time story time um and of course make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and i will see y'all on my next video